What's up everybody? Just in case this is your first video. Hey buddy. <laughs> I am Devin Lavore. And I'm Michelle Lavore. Coming, coming at ya. At ya. <laughs> and so we have arrived, y'all. We arrived. And uh we're at Brentwood. We're in Brentwood, Tennessee. Staying at the same place we actually stayed at when we came here in April. And it was a disaster of all yeah. disasters. Yeah, so we're kind of tired, so give us some grace. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's been a lot of driving. Hey, buddy. And, you know, it's like supposed to take a five-hour trip. It takes, you know, eight hours when you have kids. Did it really take us eight hours? It did. It took we us left, eight hours we today? Left at 12. Dang, it took us longer than that because we got in the door. Oh, let, let, me, let me throw this out at you. We came in the door, looked at the clock. It was 8.44. Yes, it was 8.44. I'll just leave that right there in your heart. Just leave it right there. Yeah. Okay? <laughs> so it's been it's been a long, it's been kind of a crazy t couple days just because of, you know, packing and going and driving and not getting much sleep. Oh my yeah. goodness. <laughs> but. Snore monster right here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, put us in a hotel. No one's sleeping if I'm there. Yeah. So. <laughs> That's the truth. <laughs> no one's sleeping. Joa prayed for me. He was like, Dad, I want to pray for you. And he laid his hands on my, on my face. And he was like, Lord, I just pray that you would just miraculously heal my father of snoring because it's just, it's. It's intense. <laughs> I was like, wow. My seven-year-old is praying for me, and he's like, it's intense. He just said, so intense. Sidetrack rabbit trail number 17. Well, yeah. Hey, 17, coming at you. Anyway. Uh, but, yeah, so we're, <laughs> we're glad to be here, and... Um, I don't know. God has just been so good to us tonight. Um, I was definitely, you know, it's, it's kind of, when you take steps of faith, it can be crazy and, and yeah. you know, the enemy can come in still and he's just like, Hey, I'm, I'm, he's going to mess with you in whatever way he can. And That's you standing at the door and here comes that great big snake. Yeah. Right, I, I'll reference that video when I'm done editing this. But <laughs> seriously, you're standing at the banquet door, and God's brought you to the door, like physically. You're literally physically standing at the door with the doors getting ready to open to your promise to some epic, amazing thing that God's getting ready to do. And here comes that big, nasty, religious snake wants yeah. to get up on you and be like, who can I get to look at me? Forget looking at the door. Forget looking at the promise. Who can I get to look at me so you can go back? So you can look back. So you can turn back. So you can run in the other direction like Elijah did um, after he took down Jezebel. You know, so you can just go back into the desert. Go back into that survival thinking. Go back into that wilderness mindset. Go back into believing that God is just not going to move and it's going to take forever for the promise to come to pass. Yeah. And it's like, don't believe that. Or even just getting hit. Like, I got hit with just like, oh, well, things aren't going to be different. Sure, mm -hmm. you're here. You're here, but... You've just no, transferred you've wildernesses. Just transferred, yeah. <laughs> but, but praise the Lord. He just, he brought some, he brought clarity um, for me, especially with, because I was just confused. I'm like, Lord... Did the banquet door, did they blow open? Because I thought that was, I saw that going way differently in my mind, you know, like <laughs> something. A hitch like, reference. Yeah. And um, and he, he just showed me, he reminded me actually that in the vision, we originally got it, that the, the doors, we were standing in front of the doors and behind us was the desert. Mm -hmm. And. Which I didn't understand at the time. I'm like. How is there these beautifully, these amazing banquet doors right here? And it's like, there's a desert right behind us. Yeah. I'm like, that doesn't make any sense. It's yeah. the Lord. Yeah. <laughs> and so God was just like, okay, but you have to understand. It's like yeah, you were, he's basically said like, I've actually brought you to the doors now. Yeah. Because we have 
we were in the desert, but now he's actually brought us up to the doors. And because you know, this is the beginning of like our manifestation story. You yeah. know, the the beginning of the end, so to speak. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Something like that. <laughs> But, like, things have to manifest. There has to be a reward. There has to be a holding of the promise in your hand, or you really have believed the Lord for nothing, you know? And he hasn't said, come, seek me for nothing. You know? Yeah, and that's the Isaiah forty five nineteen. Yes, thank you and, um, for the reference. Yeah. <laughs> and so it was just so encouraging because I was like... Ooh, need our tripod. I was like, Lord, you're right. You have... You have brought us now in front of the doors. The doors are not, they're not open yet, but we are standing literally in front of them. Whereas before when we were in Lee's Summit, like I always thought, okay, well, apparently we're standing before the doors here, but no, we're still in our wilderness. And it was like, God is like, no, I've just led you now across the wilderness. Now you are in the place where you are supposed to inherit. And so... Dang, he is attacking your finger. Yeah, I think he's teething. <laughs> he is attacking <laughs> that finger, man. Look at him. He's like... <laughs> Dang, he's going Rocky Balboa on that finger. Anyway, and, go ahead. <laughs> um, but just that it's like, okay, now you're ready. And, and so... Uh -huh. And really tonight, again, he was just like, oh, you guys have to pick up that promise and hold on to your star. You know, because he, he showed us, like, the whole star thing, and we'll put that video also. Sure, we can reference that. Reference if I remember that. it, I haven't been <laughs> carding the videos lately. That's so terrible. But, um... Negligent in my duties. But to just really hold on <laughs> to the promise, and and really, like, God spoke through Devin of just, it's like, the reward. I mean, it was intense, like, on fire, like... Have you ever seen me like that before? No. A couple, couple yeah, times in nine times, years. But, but I mean, it was just like it was the fire of the Lord, man. Did not come all this way for nothing. I did not ask you to seek me for nothing. And it, and uh, and it was just really like God is like it, you were saying like, what do you think of me? And because That's the I, I did have a, I yeah. mean, for me, I think just. With all the changes and stuff, it's like, yeah, I had a little crying session, and but then God is so a little good. emotional dump. God is so good because He always always lifts us up, <laughs> he and does. Um, that's so. all He ever does. Buddy, even when He's doing hardcore stuff in our lives, it's like this is for the per this is I'm preparing you for the blessing. Yeah, I'm preparing you for the setup. I'm preparing you for the promotion. I'm preparing you for it. But, man, this hurts like beep, 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 beep. <laughs> it's like, I know. Isn't it awesome? It's like the, the more I can stretch you, the better. I'll, let me tell you something. People don't go to the Olympics because they just happen to be talented. No. There's a lot of people that are talented oh, yeah. that don't make it. Because it just they got to go through what you got to go through to get there. You yeah. Know? But, um, That's a whole other video. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, so it's we're definitely just ending the night just on a, a really good note of just, yeah. like, and really just believing, like, we are going to see some amazing things Dang. while we're here. And, He's um, that <laughs> and <laughs> it's just, it's, it's going to be awesome. So we, you know, are looking forward to, you know, whatever. Whew. God does and sharing it with you guys. It's the beginning, y'all. It's the beginning. And and to really see the fulfillment of so many visions that and prophetic have words. Had, the prophetic words and visions. See, that's another thing. Can I talk about the prophetic? Because you know, I know some people we've seen some comments lately about past prophetic things that we've said and it's been a long time oh. and all that, and it's just like it's true, you know. Sometimes the prophetic can be it can be confusing because you think a word that you're prophesying is for right now when really it's not. Yeah. And it's just like we, we ask the Lord, Lord, touch our touch our financial leprosy and or, or whatnot. And he's like, I am willing. Yes, I will. I am going to do that. And it's like, well, well when, when the Lord would, you know, oh, Lord, if you are willing, you can make me clean. And the leper bowed down. He's like, I am willing. And he touched him right away and he was healed immediately, right? And so when the Lord told me, I am willing, he gave me that word, I am willing. 
and then he showed me that the next morning when I woke up, he showed me that giant hand coming toward my coming toward my face, and I was like, oh, this is awesome. I was seriously expecting something to happen that day or that week or something, and that was like months ago, Yeah. right? And I was just like, but during that time frame, I was like, Lord, I thought, I'm almost absolutely 100% sure that that was you telling me that. What happened? See, because you can always take your confusion and your questions and all that to the Lord. Don't try to internalize it. <laughs> And figure it out on your own because your brain cannot provide the answers that you it need. Really can't. Right? And so I was like, Lord, what's going on? And I felt like the Lord was like, He was like, Well, when I move to to do the thing for you, to 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 heal you of the leprosy, it is gonna happen immediately. It is gonna happen instantaneously. But when I move to do it. And I was like, Well, yeah. man, I you, you could have told me that at the time you gave me the vision. You know yeah. what I'm saying? It's like you can you let me string myself along all this time thinking that something's gonna happen and I, I must have heard from you wrong or whatever. But so it's like the prophetic can be like that a lot. Well you and know, then like you said too, well, what we've talked about before with the three stories going on. Yes. That and, was man. and it's like sometimes you're you're getting a prophetic word, but it really is for the spiritual journey that you're on. Or it or it's for your or heart. It's for your heart journey. Mm-hmm. And, and they and, all but, kind of overlap, don't but, they? Yeah, it's they do. But, uh, and a lot of times, though, we take the words and you automatically apply it to the manifestation part. Right. Actually, Which is what happened the, the last time we came here. Yeah. We were expecting it to be a manifestation thing, but now is the time for the manifestation, the second time we come in. Thank you, Christian Pierre, because he really brought some clarity because he heard from the Lord about about misplaced expectations and then the Lord not even giving you any clarity on it while you're misplacing those expectations and then you come back to him and be like, Lord, what's going on? Like, why is this happening? And then, so I was just like, I, just, I highly recommend. He he comes out with some amazing videos, yes. man. I mean, I just, I heard from him because of uh, Shelly L and someone else mentioned him and I was just like, dude, he's amazing. People would probably love his videos because his videos are like two, three minutes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, that is not our flow. <laughs> anyway, so we just wanted to let you guys know we landed. Yeah. The eagle has landed. Yeah. The eagle has landed. That was so corny. Anyway, that's what happens when I'm tired. But anyway, <laughs> I'm tired, but I'm excited, man. I am yeah. excited to see what God's going to do. I got, some, I, got a, I got some promises that I'm just like, Lord, I am, I am excited to see those fulfilled. Ooh, he fits right into the family. Yeah. Little interrupter. <laughs> He's tired too. He is. He's such a trooper, man. He made it through. But anyway, all of our kids did well. Yeah, they all we did, did well. All well. Michelle, she led the whole way. I'm just driving the U-Haul truck. And I'm just like, it was just a great trip. It really yeah. was. It even feels different. Oh, you want to tell them tell them about our room real quick, you know? Because oh, felt yeah. like the Lord was like this. You were in the middle of the reversing. You were in the oh. middle of the Zephaniah 320 coming to pass right before your eyes. And it's like so tell them what you got from the Lord about yeah. the reversing. Um, so I got, well, basically the last time we were here, it's it's this, the room is set up the exact same as Carbon the, copy. the other room, as, yep. as it is with most, most hotels and yep. places like that. But literally the place that we stayed the last time is like, like diag- you could draw a line like diagonally across to where we were staying before. And yep. so it's like literally the opposite side of the hotel. The reverse. And so it's just like, I felt like God's like, yes, the situation, it seems the same. It seems similar, but that it really is just the complete opposite of that. Well, and the thing that, and the, why is that significant? Because <clears throat> that's been a, 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 a theme since May 15th. Because I gave that prophetic word, it's time for everything to be reversed. I gave that on May 15th. See, that's another thing about the prophetic right there. I gave it on May 15th, dude. And I'm thinking, oh, time for everything to be reversed. That's awesome. Yeah. By May 20th. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to see a reverse thing. And I was just like, dude, I done gave up on that like six yeah. months ago. Yeah. God's like, I didn't. Mm-hmm. That's my plan for you. Do you want to know what my plan is? Do you want to walk in it? Yes, I do, Lord. But it's taking forever. <laughs> it's like, you know, but it's like, if you keep going after the Lord, you'll make it through that kind of stuff. And it's like, 
you know, I just had this very, very specific vision. It was a very strong, intense, vivid vision. And it was just a, a reversing of things. And it's like, wow, we are in the midst of that. Like, right yeah. now, I am excited. Yeah. I can see why the enemy wants to try to throw discouragement. Because this is what he does. And it's like, I want to keep you from inheriting. I want to keep you from going through that door. Yeah. So, man, don't let the enemy, don't let that big nasty snake come up behind you and get your attention on him and in him take you away. You know, don't, yeah. don't get carried away, hello, by the enemy. Get carried mm -hmm. away by the Lord because someone's going to carry you. You know, it's, <laughs> you know what I'm getting ready to say, right? <laughs> it's time for you to be carried. Yeah. That's what, uh, what is her name? Hadassah Esther Esther said, it's time for you to be carried. <laughs> and so, and so, because when those doors, when those banquet doors blew open, the, the, the wind just picked us up and set us in our seat. And all, oh, don't you know, Ryan Lestrange came out with his Monday word today talking about the wind a windstorm from heaven or something. Yeah. And I was a second person in the last two days that talked about being catapulted into your destiny and all that yeah. stuff. And it's just, I was like, dang, the Lord is moving. Greater is he that is in me than he who is in the world. The enemy may be, maybe try, he will try to come and discourage you, but encouragement is greater than discouragement. God's testimony is greater than his testimony. And it's something I wanted, like what I want to say to you guys, the same thing I said to Michelle. It's like, now if you're going to give the prosecutor an ear to hear all of his negativity and discouragement and fear, doubt, and anxiety, well then you have to give the defense attorney a chance to cross-examine, meaning, okay, if you want to hear what all the enemy is saying and all the past disappointments are saying, then you got to give God a chance to cross-examine and hear what he's saying. And let me tell you what, if you allow God to do that, he's going to win every time. If you allow yourself to be persuaded by his spirit in your life, you will see the victory and the glory of God every mm -hmm. single time. It's just not going to happen because light is greater than darkness. Yeah. That's just the truth. I mean, you were in the, whew, you were in the depths of the mully grubs. <laughs> but not for long. But no. not for long, man. Because it's just like, cause why? Because you have a heart to hear what God's saying. And you're like, yeah. no, man, I am going into this banquet hall in yeah. the name of Jesus. Yeah. For his glory and for my full stomach. So, <laughs> <laughs> so God bless you guys. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, my gosh. How can we not do this video without saying a thank you? Huge thank you to all of you guys who have been supporting us and blessing us with prayers and comments. And, yes, financial offerings. Yeah. They have been amazing. They've allowed us to come here, truth be yeah. told. You know, some shall remain silent and all that. But it's like, man, there's been you guys have been helping us big time. And I just thank you so yeah. much. You know, it's like this is this. We really are in a, a ministry. It's it's taking a. I'm still warming up to the idea that this is a ministry, but it really is. You know, and it's like God's like, hey man, get you need to get that self worth stuff out of the way. And it's just do what you do because you because I'm telling you to do it. You know, you've been you were doing it for like months, almost a whole year without financial offerings. So it's, you've already proven that you're going to do it because you love it and all that. Yeah. Because you love the people, you love the Lord, and you want to encourage people to know the Lord and all that. It's like, but it's like there's nothing wrong with receiving compensation for it be yeah. as well. It's like especially if that's what you've been called to do full time. There's Bible for it. And it's like I'm just like so thank all of you guys so, 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 so much. Right. Yeah. I mean, huge, man. Just I'm amazed. I'm just. Yeah. Yeah. I'm amazed at like how <laughs> strangers who've never even seen your physical face. <laughs> will give to you something out of their lives yeah. to bless you. Yeah. Woo! Yeah, you can go ahead and close, sweetie. <laughs> yeah, so that's what we have for you guys today. I'm sure we'll do an update as soon yep. as we can. and As things um, progress. We just hope that you guys are blessed and have just an awesome week um it's so weird we i know that it's almost christmas it's like it does not feel but like for it. us it just it like, i'm like christmas oh yeah christmas is coming i don't know it's just it's so weird it's kind of like i feel like i'm in like the twilight zone or whatever yeah. where it's like what what season are we hey we're gonna be married nine years yeah, on, the, on the 20th, on the 20th. december 20th so Woo! 
shout out to us. <laughs> and, um, how do you shout out to yourself? Oh. That's terrible. How, how, how conceited can you be, Devin? But, but yeah, but so anyway. we're just, um, I don't know, it's just, uh, yeah, we just want to say, you know, uh, we'll keep you guys posted Absolutely. as much you know, as we can. We um, and just have an awesome week preparing for Christmas, and we'll see you soon. How are you five months in teething? Well, You've been teething been for like two months. Forever. <laughs> it's crazy. But anyway. All right. Peace out, later. guys. Love you. Thank yeah. you. Be blessed. We will update you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>